You may remember last June, in the midst of Black Lives Matter protests, President Trump strolled out of the White House and over to Lafayette Square to stand near St. John's Church, which had been damaged the day before. At the time, it was reported that protesters had been forcibly cleared for the photo op. But now that narrative is getting a second look. It was June 1st, 2020, when the president strolled over to St. John's Church, displaying an upside-down Bible. We have a great country. Just hours earlier, using chemical agents, law enforcement cleared the park. Hundreds of protesters had been gathered peacefully. At the time, the news media reported that Attorney General William Barr cleared the protesters to make way for the president. But not so fast. Now... An inspector general's report says that park police didn't clear protesters for Trump, but to allow a contractor to install a White House fence. That report from the Interior Department's inspector general says Attorney General Barr was told by contractors that they needed to install the security fence in daylight. So a plan was made to clear the park. Barr apparently never told park police that the president would show up until the last minute. Barr then informs the park police that the president is coming down, and the park police commander is shocked by this. And he says, according to this report, are you freaking kidding me? And that, says the IG's report, is what happened. This is a pretty shocking finding. It really turns on its head what we thought we knew about what happened here. But naturally, there are skeptics. It sounded as if this inspector general was auditioning to become the inspector general at Mar-a-Lago. Because, I mean, this is almost a whitewash of what occurred on June 1st. Curious, for sure. Yeah, John, forgive me, but um, you can paint me into that skeptic's corner. I just, there's no way at the last minute they're filling in the park police that uh, the president's going to show up without some advance warning. And, you know, clearing them with tear gas? Why didn't they put out a bullhorn and saying, hey, guys, we're, we're about to install a fence. We need you to get out of here. Nah, I'm not buying it. I mean, in defense of the inspector general here, he or she, I don't even know the, the gender of that IG, uh, says right up front that they had a, took a very narrow focus in this investigation. They just looked at the role of the park police. Uh, they, uh, there were a lot of key players that they never spoke to. In the report, one of the great things about news on the Internet is most news organizations will give you a link to the source document. So I actually went and read the, uh, the report. And there's a part in it, partially redacted, that hints at another level of contact with authorities that may implicate the White House here. So it's hardly an open and shut case. Uh, and, and in any case, the events of that day were deplorable. And uh, I think that's, that is and should be the lingering memory of it. Yeah, I mean, I agree with John. I looked at the report, too. It's fairly narrow in its scope. There's some indication in it that the Secret Service may have been given some direction that's not captured in the report and that Homeland Security declined to do a review of that. So I don't think the report is as definitive as some people have been painting it. This is sort of like one of those situations where I feel like the media overshot at the front end, sort of assuming that they knew what happened and, and then overcorrected on the back end and is now sort of overstating the report. It sort of feels like there's clearly something that went on here. And also, I'm just not sure there's as much room as the Trump side wants people to believe between protesters exercising their First Amendment rights were tear gassed for the president to, to have a photo op and protesters exercising their First Amendment rights were tear gassed. And the president of America took advantage of that for this bizarre photo op. Like, both of those things are really bad. So I'm not sure this, like, absolves him in the way they think it does. Oh, I absolutely agree. First of all, I go back to Trump's own general, whose name is escaping me at this moment, who was clueless about everything. And we all know that president is not moving around without all kinds of levels of activity, and everybody is informed. So something doesn't smell right right there. Okay, so let's just go with them saying we were going to paint the fence in the daylight. Why did you let the protesters there at all yeah. block it off 
we're done here. Paint and go home, everybody. Construct, so, not paint. <laughs> I mean, so come on. You know, that is clearly, this is some after the fact, whoever said the Mar-a-Lago inspector general, come on. This is ridiculous. It makes no sense on any level. And again, I will say, this is why one needs a commission to unlock all of these things. Because the one thing that we know out of all of the conversations, wherever we are in looking at uh, the incident, there's a lack of communication that is humongous uh, that needs to be addressed. I would uh, go back to John's comment about the narrowness of this report. It really only focused on the actions of the Capitol Police. Uh, what we also know is that the D.C. City Police uh, was tear gassing the protesters at the same time that the Capitol Police apparently weren't. Uh, the Bureau of Prisons Police uh, were shooting pepper balls at the protesters. And that's not part of this report. Now, were some mistakes made? Yes, absolutely. Um, I went back and looked at the New York Times and Washington Post coverage uh, of that day, and both of them really asserted without having any sourcing that this was done to clear the way for President Trump to walk over to the church for his weird photo op. And, uh, I, you know, you would have liked to have seen some sourcing for that, and that's blown up in their but face. But did William Barr ever deny that? Do you remember, Dan? I don't think he did. No. No. No, no. And this is all... And again, know, the general also was not told. Yeah. Remember, they had a... Uh, the, the general and President Trump went back and forth with each other about this afterwards. Mm -hmm. There are some hints that, uh, yes, the clearing, the clearing was scheduled to take place that day anyway in order to erect the fence. But there are some hints in the coverage that Barr ordered this to be hurried up because he knew yeah. that uh, the president was going to be he walking knew. through. Yeah. But the general didn't. No, the general didn't. No. Okay. Apparently nobody did except yeah. him. <laughs>